Amanda here from Create with Scrimping Mama. So I'm here today to um, share an online class that I've done for this fantastic folio. And this is called Photo Folios 1. And it's specifically designed to hold photos. I've done all sorts of folios, etc. And we use digital papers. And these are a fantastic size for using your digital papers. You don't only have to use digital papers to make journals so this is approximately eight and three quarters by about six and three quarters on the cover and then about six and a half by eight and a half on the pages and it's a three quarters of an inch spine it's made out of cardstock but it's super sturdy and i have used my april journal enjoy collection and it's called nature notes so i'm going to quickly show you the um folio and then I'll tell you where you can um, join the online class. So here's the front cover. It's absolutely stunning. And we've got a um, slide and lock mechanism here. And I've just clipped together these three large tags. These are part of the collection. Excuse my glue hands. I've literally just finished this project. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You can journal on the back. You could add small photos. Okay, and then also in here we have a 6x4 photo mat. I will tell you this photo folio will hold up to 60 photos from um, 5x7 downwards. Okay, so it holds an awful lot and it holds them comfortably. Now, um, in the purchase option for the online class, you will also get these which are printable photo mats and you can add these on with removable glue dots or removable tape and then when you want to put a photo on you can take this piece off and add your photo okay um, and in the bundle there's all different sizes from five by seven down to two by two and you get those in with it okay so this uh, these that i've just slid out of here closes this slide and lock mechanism so these two belly bands keep this section closed so in here we have a pocket where you can slide another six by four photo so then this pulls down and you've got a six by four there and then this flips up and you've got six by four in the opposite orientation okay and then in the middle here i've created a little photo book using the beautiful papers, absolutely gorgeous. I have added some embellishments. Those are like a pocket, so you can slip another photo mat in there if you so desire. And then when we open it, we've got two five by seven photo mats and some um, mat and layering with the beautiful papers. You've got the option to put one on the back if you want. And there's the beautiful papers. So that would go back like that. And then this slides back in here to lock it. Okay. And then that is all secure. I'll do it after. <laughs> so then we open like so. And we've got a large angled pocket on the inside cover that holds a variety of photo mats. So these are three by three and you can do them double sided, five by seven. This little embellishment is just glued on the top so that you can get your photo in there and you can do that double sided. And these are your four by fours, okay? So that's how you get loads of photos in this folio. So they all slide nicely back in there, okay? Everything I've used here is in my Nature Notes collection. So here we've got these beautiful um, birds and that opens like so and it also slides out and we've got photo mats there. Okay, it's going to be hard to show everything because it's larger than my screen. And then we've got the slide and lock mechanism again here uh, and it's a double belly band. So this one slides into the smaller belly bands and then the larger belly bands at the back, we have room for another five by seven okay and these are also these flaps here are also magnetized so these flaps open we've got a four by six there okay and then it folds down and we've got i've put two three by threes there and then added a band of lovely patterned paper at the bottom just to add interest okay and then the middle section here so this is magnetized 
okay you can add a four by six photo on there if i show you like so okay it will fit on there so that opens there and you've got room for another photo there if you so desire and then here we've got a flap and these are three by threes and i've spaced them out so that they're not covering over the magnet so it doesn't stop that from working nicely okay and then this flap opens this way and i've done some more three by threes and some paper piecing with the beautiful paper and then on this flap here this is a four by four two two by twos and a cut apart from the collection with the lovely papers at the back so that folds there and that folds there then this opens like so we've got another five by seven and some paper piecing okay and then this section here is a mirror image of this section here so but it opens the other way so again you've got room for six by four but i wanted to use the beautiful papers same on the back six by four same here these are three by threes and again on the back we've got the three by threes and some paper piecing and the four by four and two by twos then this opens again and again you've got five by seven there so it's the mirror image of that side and then in the section here, we've got another lovely slide and lock mechanism with a lovely, lovely long photo mat here. This is a six by four. You could put one on the back as well. And we use that to lock these two flappy bits here. Okay, on the back of these flaps, we've got four by four photo there. And we lift this down. We've got a four by four photo there. Then we've got two flaps here. I've used beautiful pattern paper, but they do also hold, again, four by six photos, if you don't want to use pattern paper. And as you can see, that's what I've done on the back. Four by six there, four by six there. Things are falling off my desk. <laughs> Let me just lift that up. Okay, and then in the centre here, I've just added pattern paper. You've got room in there for 5 by 7 photo mats. And you could put a couple of more 6 by 4s I wouldn't overload it because we've not gusseted the top. But you've certainly got room for more photo mats in there. Okay, so then that closes. That closes. We're adding our long photo mat slides in there. Then we go right left then this lifts up this lifts down and it's magnetized and then we can use our large photo mat there to close that one and then we've got our opening card type photo mat which slides in there like so so that's the project and then the back is just lovely decorated paper okay let's slide these back in here okay make it all neat and tidy again it is absolutely lovely when all of these components are in nothing flaps about when you're opening and closing pages it's all nice and neatly tucked away and we can add these lovely large ticket style embellishments but you can instead of using these add more photo mats if you so desired and that keeps it all nice and neatly locked away i just added a clip at the top to hold those just for a little bit of it of fancy so if you would like to make this it's fantastic it's really really worth making as i say it holds 60 photos minimum um, you could probably squeeze a few more in and you'll notice that I've let the paper do all of the work. There isn't all sorts of embellishments. We're just letting the paper and the photo mats do the work. So I'm going to be releasing the tutorial for this tomorrow. It is a long tutorial because it, I have done it all in one go. I've not broken it up. So it's all one class. Okay, it will be on YouTube for everybody to view. However, if you'd like the cutting guide... Um, with all of the measurements and the scoring etc then that is a you can um, get that from my coffee shop the link is in the description box below and it is a members only purchase now to join the members only it's three pounds a month 
okay there is also a video linked in the description box below to a video that tells you all about my Kofi membership, how to join, how to unsubscribe if you don't want to be a member anymore. You can unsubscribe at any time. And obviously the cost is £3 a month. So if you sign up for that, you'll get the cutting guide for this. You'll also get access to the papers that I've used, okay, which is my April Journal Enjoy collection. So for £3, you'll get the cutting guide for this purchase and the paper collection as well, which I think is 21 pages. But not only that, you're going to get access to all the other member-only collections. And there's quite a lot um, on there. The main ones are in the shop for you to have a look at, um, and they'll say member-only. But once you remember, there's also member-only blog posts that only members can see, and there's other digitals on there as well. So it's a very, very worthwhile thing to try. Try it for one month, see if you like it. It's just three pounds and you'll get to make this project and you'll get the beautiful papers. So I hope you like that and uh, make sure you are subscribed and so that you don't miss the tutorial. Now, if you don't want to be a member and make the purchase, you can still watch the tutorial and get inspiration and ideas of how I add flips and whatever have you and how i go about doing it and uh, for those that genuinely you know are on a very very tight budget can't afford memberships or purchases you can support my channel absolutely free by just subscribing um, and that i will appreciate that just as much as a purchase so please hit the subscription button i really would be very grateful so i hope you like that it's taken me quite a while to get it just how i wanted it so I think you're going to enjoy it. It's very, very functional. It's very simple. It's not difficult. And um, a beginner could make this. It's absolutely fantastic. It's been designed very cleverly. And as I say, it's perfect for holding 60 photos minimum. You can squeeze extra in if you like. It's totally up to you. And also, don't forget, you do get those cutting mats. I'll quickly show you what they look like so they come in a digital download so there you've got the six by fours you've got the what's on here five by sevens you've got the two by two and what else have you got three by three and four by four so these are really useful if you don't have the stamps i didn't have the stamps i didn't have a camera stamp i didn't have a place photo stamp here so i made them digitally and uh, as i say you can add those with removable tape if you like or if you use quite thin copy of paper when you're adhering them you can just put your photo over the top there is room in the folio for that so there you go i'm absolutely thrilled with it i absolutely love it and i'm going to be extending this idea and then the next one that i do will be a photo folio max which means we'll have basically like two of these different layout different style but we'll have like two of these one on one side one on the other and we will be doing it with chipboard so make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss these fantastic online classes thanks for watching take care and i'll see you soon bye for now